I'm on my way to charge at the local mall, which I'm really excited about because it's the first place in my area, I'd say within five, 10 miles, that actually has Tesla chargers for free, which is really cool. So I'm looking forward to it and I'll let you know how it goes. Took me about eight minutes to drive here from my house, which that's not bad at all. Finding this place was actually like an exhilarating adventure because in the Tesla app, it will show you nearby superchargers and then nearby chargers as well. And this place popped up on the map, but I could never find it. And so finally one day I called this mall and I was like, hey, my car says that there are chargers here, but I can't seem to find them. And they let me know where they were. And it was it was truly exhilarating because this is the first time that I've been able to charge away from home with a Tesla charger. And it's just, it's so much more convenient than having to plug into a NEMA 1450. First world problems, obviously, but man, it is sweet. There's a couple Tesla's here getting a charge and I'm gonna join them. Just pulled up, I'm about to charge, and this is what I love about the Tesla chargers. First, the NEMA 1450s is this little functionality right here. It'll go green. Bingo, and we're charging. One of the reasons I'm so excited about this uh, charging location is because it's at a mall and there's a Starbucks, there's a movie theater, which I'm walking to right now. It's about five minutes away, walking distance, uh, Costco, Texas Roadhouse, Trader Joe's. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. So this probably isn't a place that I want to rely on, but if I'm in the neighborhood, if I want to have lunch or I need to see a movie or do some shopping, I can plug in for free, which is always cool. Just finished Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, you know, I'm not doing a movie review. This is more of a, a Tesla review. So I'll leave my opinions to myself, but I am making the walk back to the parking garage where the Tesla is. I gotta say, this is a nice walk during the summer. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do this during the winter. I mean, it is close by, but it's not that close. It's not full because Tesla recommends kind of about eight, that 80% level, but so I'm probably about 79% after watching the movie. So when I was there, I charged up for about 60 miles. It took me about an hour and a half to charge. The movie was a little longer and it was awesome. It was great to be able to walk four minutes to and from the movie theater to charge my car while I saw a movie. So it's gonna be something I do often and after six weeks i've had no real emergency to charge at home between work and now this new uh, mall area i'm pretty set as far as free charging goes